Hello, this is old G. Well, hi, Mama Joe. Yes, yes, I still am planning on coming over for uh, Christmas dinner. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of snow plowing right now, trying to get some of the snow out of the, the way here. You want me to uh, bring some um, extra eggs for, uh, for deviled eggs that you're going to make? All right, that sounds good. I like deviled eggs. And you have... A really important, uh, really important business discussion you want to have with me, huh? Okay, well that sounds good too. All right, well I will see you over at uh, your son's place uh, for Christmas dinner at uh, 5 p.m. Sounds good. Okay, we'll see you then. Man, Mama Joe, this uh, Christmas dinner was just delicious. Um, and wasn't that weird how the snow just this afternoon just almost instantly disappeared. We had like, what, two, three feet on the ground and then boom, it was just gone. I don't know. I don't understand. Even after I plowed your driveway for you and everything and my own driveway, it just disappeared. So yeah, I don't know. It was crazy weather we're having. Anyhow, uh, you said you wanted to speak to me about uh, a business proposition. And so, yeah, what, uh, what's going on? What, what do you have in mind? So, interesting. So you're wondering if I am uh, willing to give you a 20-year lease on Field 46 so that you can turn that into a place where you can put uh, some shops. You want to start with the farmer's market and then maybe later on expand to a restaurant and even uh, a little supermarket. Uh, and in return for that, you will uh, buy a cold storage unit for me and help pay for the landscaping uh, required to, to get all that set up so that I can um, uh, I can up my, my game in the produce business. You know, Mama Joe, I, I, I think that's probably a good idea. I think it's about time, uh, you know, for us to do some upgrading on the farm and... Uh, why don't we go ahead and and do it? Uh, so let let's go ahead and and start work on this um, as soon as possible, and uh, we'll get it done. Okay, Mama Joe. Well, hey, it's always a pleasure doing business with you, and uh, I I think uh, this is a good idea. And uh, so let's go ahead and raise a glass here, and uh, here's to good things to come. Your eggnog is very delicious, by the way.
All right, you guys, look at our new upgrade for the farm. This is amazing. Oh man, that was uh, a <laughs> that was a lot of work, and also a lot of fun. Um, it took me a long time and lots of practice to figure out um, how to do all this. We got a little bit of a bump right there. We should probably see if we can do. Uh, I created a. A, a, a test save uh, and kind of practice on how I was going to do all this. And uh, yeah, this, <laughs> it, it, you know, in the video, it looked like I pretty much did it all in one shot, but that is not the case at all. <laughs> it took a lot of work to do this. Let's see if we can chill that bump out a little bit there. Uh, but this is cool, man. I'm, I've, I was so excited to, uh, you know, to get all this set up here. There's still a bit of a bump there. Okay. Let's chill it out a little bit more here. Uh, let's see. It's the thing is, is it's it's kind of hard sometimes to see from this angle. You can see it better when you're down below, right? Um, okay. Let's see. How's that? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Lots of stuff to do here. So I guess uh, let's start with these greenhouses so if you're not familiar with um you know this game and the mods for this game uh these greenhouses are different than the hydroponics which i was using before because they require both fertilizer or manure and also seeds in addition to water uh in order to you know produce the food so they're more realistic you know than the than the other greenhouses uh, and they also have um, they also have at least as much production as the hydroponics ones do, if not even maybe a little bit more. So once we get these things going, uh, yeah, they're gonna crank out the product. And of course, you know we have ten of these now instead of uh, just the three before. So we've increased our you know our potential production here by more than threefold. So this is, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. Um, and let's see. Okay, so as far as mods go, I, I used a lot of mods uh, in, you know, to do all of this stuff. And let's see. Let me just kind of go through those with you. I think I, do I have to log out? I think I have to log out to show you that stuff, right? Yeah, okay. So let's, um, uh, yeah, let's cut the game and I'll just kind of show you real quick what the mods uh, what mods I used and why and that sort of thing. Uh, so if we go back to here and go to here. Okay, so um, this was the original bale storage mod that I was using. And um, I mentioned to one of you guys in the comments that they came out with an update. Uh, well, actually, I think I mentioned this on the last episode too, but they came out with an update. So I installed the update, which allowed me to delete uh, the original you know, round bale storage. Um, and then I installed this one, which is, as you can see, quite a bit more capacity than this one is. And that's what we installed over on the other field, in addition to a hay shed and a straw shed. And I'll also probably put up a, a grass shed, you know, grass bales and square silage bales later on. But I just, I didn't do it this time just because, you know, of money. All right. So that was a, uh, one of the mods I used. Uh, I also used, I th think... Yeah, I think I used the water pack here. I also had installed the pumps and tanks mod. Um, but the water pack, after doing some testing, you know, the this can includes those hydrants that I put next to each greenhouse, and they have a pretty good fill rate. And I'm gonna show you a, a really neat little trick that I'm gonna use uh to to fill the water on the greenhouses. All right, so we did that. Um, I installed this mod that allows us to snap buildings, which allowed me to, to perfectly, you know, line up the greenhouses. That was super helpful. Uh, we got that. I I try I installed this mod. Well, I didn't install it, but I downloaded this mod because I wanted to put a sign up in front of the place, you know, saying OG's Farm or something like that. But I don't like the way that this sign works. It doesn't doesn't actually work the way that I thought it would. So I might look for some another solution for that later on. Uh, all right, what else is new? Uh, th this is the greenhouses with the seeds and fertilizer, which we installed. 
Um, this mod here, this was I was just tickled to death to find this mod because basically this is a storage shed that has a cold storage inside of it, as you know you saw there in the montage. Uh, and so yeah, Mama Joe uh, purchased this for us, and in, in addition to helping to pay for the landscape in order for you know in exchange for the twenty year lease on our on our property for her stores. And that's going to benefit us too because it just it it um, it gives us more sell points, you know, that we can sell stuff to too. So it's going to going to help us in a practical sense as well as in a role playing sense. So yeah, this was a really neat um, shed when I when I finally found this and I go and I was thinking, man, I got to get this because you guys, if you've been watching all along, you know that I've been wanting a cold storage. Uh, so we got that now. Uh, let's see what else did we use. Uh, I showed you this stuff in the last episode. This this included that those longer forks that we use. So we did that in the last episode, and uh, the, these are those parking lots, um, you know, that we installed uh, next to Mama Joe's place. So we got that. Uh, let's see. That's the adapter for the telehandler. Oh, I got a root crop storage shed because it is my intention later on to have a sugar factory. Uh, and so I like this little mod because this allows us to store our sugar beets inside of, of a, you know, a, a root crop shed instead of just in a pile on the ground. So then we're not going to be doing anything with that right now, but that's, you know, coming up later on. All right. What else? I think everything else in here. Yeah. I tried this little water tap mod, but it, the fill rate was really slow on it. So I decided not to use it. Okay. So I think that, uh, covers all of the mods that I used for this massive, um, you know, farm upgrade that we've done. And yeah, guys, we, <laughs> we are going to make some money. Uh, so, you know, as we transition into, you know, a larger farm, there's going to be less and less of me doing, you know, contract work and stuff like that only because I'm not going to have time. I mean, this is, you know, 10 greenhouses producing, you know, uh, you know, product at least as fast as the three hydroponics is going to keep me pretty busy. However, there is another thing to all this. Oh yeah. And I bought the, I bought the man, uh, truck here and also the large, uh, curtain side trailer, because we are going to need this for hauling all this produce. Um, now that brings up another thing. Well, actually, hold on. Before we talk about that, I installed two silos over here. Well, they're really not really silos. They're more like containers. So this is a fertilizer container uh, slash silo. So what I can do with this is I can go up to this and I can purchase up to 60,000 liters of fertilizer, uh, which I'm actually going to do right now. Okay, now that... <laughs> Brings us down to twelve thousand dollars, but we just completely filled this up with fertilizer. Now the reason I did that did that is because remember our ten greenhouses require fertilizer, um, but also you know when we do fertilizer contracts, which I I plan to continue to do for the time being, you know we can just get our bulk fertilizer out of here, and I don't have to buy it, you know, uh, in in those quantities. I can buy it in smaller quantities too. Uh, now, this little silo here or container, this will hold seeds because remember now we also have to have seeds for uh, our greenhouse. So let's see. We're, I probably shouldn't have bought all that fertilizer. Talk on it. Um, all right. So here, let's see. We can buy 20. Okay. Let's buy 10,000 liters of seed. And that leaves us with 20. <laughs> 2900 bucks. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to store seed in here because we will have to, of course, periodically uh, fill up our greenhouses. Cool. Now, uh, let's take a look at our new cold storage unit. Uh, this place is just the neatest thing ever, man. I'm so happy to find this mod. Uh, so basically, you got the sh a little shed here. You got lights that you can turn off and on. Um, and then this is the cold storage unit here. And this is, isn't this cool, you guys? This is so neat. And it's all like insulated and everything. Um, I wasn't able to get rid of this foliage here. That's just kind of, you know, you can't delete that. But that's right. I mean, this is all going to be covered with pallets anyways. And, you know, if you watched the last episode, I was, you know, kind of demonstrating a little bit, you know, the telehandler and the ability for the telehandler to, uh, you know, pick up multiple pallets. Well, that's why, because we're going to be storing 
all of this mass of produce inside of our cold storage and we're going to hang on to it until the price is good rather than sell it every month. So that's what's going on there. All right, now let's see here. What else? Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, the hay sheds. So we installed some hay sheds over here on the other field. And I have plants um, for this whole property over here. So uh, basically field 52. That is not going to ultimately stay a field. Um, to, to give you just kind of a, a quick foreshadowing of what's going to happen over here is this whole area is going to turn into a production area for us eventually uh but of course we can't do all of that right now because it's you know we're gonna have to work our way up to it uh but yeah we installed these hay sheds in here and so i have one for round bale storage because i'm going to continue for now uh you know to to um produce round silage bales from our own fields and sell those for the money because man we made so much money off of the you know off the silage from last year uh, but we have a lot more capacity in here i think the i think the old one we had was something like 140,000 liters so this is like two and a half million liters <laughs> so we're gonna be able to store a lot of stuff in here and then likewise uh this is for hay bales and this is for straw bales and it is my intention to put another one of these up over here for um for square silage bales later on when we get cattle and even a third one uh, or rather i should say a fourth one we might put in over here for grass bales um, because i'm eventually planning on getting some sheep too so that we can get into um cloth and and clothing production which is very very lucrative okay but that's all coming you know down the road of course i could only do as much in fact i wasn't planning on eventually uh initially wasn't planning on doing those sheds yet because i didn't think i was gonna have enough money until i realized you know how much money we made off that silage sale uh so we were able to get a little bit of a jump start on you know the next phase by putting those sheds in so yeah i'm just really stoked man this is great you guys we are gonna we're gonna just be moving up in the world that's the best way best way to put it moving up in the world okay we are almost broke though <laughs> i probably shouldn't have bought that much fertilizer but we're, we'll be okay we'll be fine um all right so yeah i think that's that's pretty much where we are uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to for uh for role-playing purposes let's say I'm going to have one greenhouse produce tomatoes. That'll be this one. And one greenhouse produce strawberries. That'll be this one. Uh, because, you know, the part of the deal with Mama Joe is that we're going to provide her new farmer's market uh, with produce. Now, the reality of it is I'm still going to sell, you know, to the highest price. That's what's actually going to happen. But we're just kind of pretending like, you know, um, well, let's put it this way. Mama Joe gets first pick of our produce um and you know if she's if she's low on produce that means her prices are going to be high and you know she gets first dibs if we got into a situation where we had two different sell points like let's say like johnson's farmer's market and mama joe's if they if they're both offering the same price then she gets priority we'll put it that way okay now hopefully that makes sense but the reality of it is we're, we're still going to you know sell for the best to the highest uh, price because that's just makes good business sense right uh, so anyway, yeah, this is going to be strawberries, this is going to be tomatoes, and then the other eight here will be lettuce. So let's do this. Let's go right here, and we're going to hop into the construction menu. And how about if we start right here? We're going to click on this, and we're going to click rename. And we're going to name this one 1 for greenhouse 1, and we're going to call it tomatoes. Okay, and now this is going to be two, three, four, five. This is going to be greenhouse six. Uh, whoops. I'm kind of typing at a weird angle here, so. Okay, so that'll be strawberries. And then this is going to be 
two lettuce, three lettuce, four lettuce, five lettuce, seven lettuce, eight lettuce, nine lettuce, ten lettuce. Right? Okay, so let's get that done. Okay, cool. So we got the, all those named, and so now when we go into our production menu here, uh, we see those names there so we know which greenhouse is doing what. Okay, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and activate tomatoes. Uh, lettuce in this one. Lettuce in this one and in this one. Strawberries in this one. Uh, lettuce in that one. That one, this one, and this one. All right, cool. So uh, that gets gets all of the, the crops assigned. But now what we need to do is we need to water, fertilize, and, uh, and seed them. Okay, so uh, let's see. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump in our new truck, our shiny new truck here. This thing's awesome, man. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't buy, like, one of the Mack trucks uh, and got this one instead, it's mostly because this truck has a built-in PTO. See that right there? So it actually has PTO capability, which we might be able to, you know, make use of, whereas the, you know, the other trucks that are available do not. Now, they, you know, there's other trucks on Mod Hub too that we could, you know, potentially look at in the future. But for now, uh, we're going to use this guy. And this thing has 500 horse too, so it's got some pretty decent power on top of everything else. Okay, so let's connect to our trailer here. Hook up the lines. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really slick. And uh, the reason for why I installed those hydrants next to the greenhouse. Now, here's the reality of the situation. Um, well, okay, Here, here's what should have happened, I think. We should have been able to install or, or, or plumb in these greenhouses. But there, I didn't see anything on the, the mod hub for plumbed in greenhouses, which means we still have to deliver the water. But watch this. If I get next to the hydrant and open up the help menu, okay, um, I should be able to, okay, hold on. I might need to get a little closer to it. There we go. Okay, so you see how when I press R, it says start filling? Well, check this out. If I start overloading, which means filling the water in the greenhouse, and start filling, look at my meter down in the lower right-hand corner. Check that out, you guys. I am filling the tank and then transferring the water into the greenhouse at almost exactly the same ratio, which is really cool. So, you know, it's not as good as if these things were we're actually plumbed in but it's the next best thing so i can just sit here and fill from each hydrant and at the same time overload into the greenhouses and fill them up with water it's just the neatest thing okay so now this greenhouse is completely full of water so now you can see that the hydrant is you know filling the tank up for the rest of the way uh okay so 76 percent is the max weight uh, but now we come over here, and again, I just get close enough, and I press R. And so it's filling into the greenhouse and pulling out of the hydrant at almost exactly the same ratio. So it's a pretty slick setup. Um, not, you know, much better than having to, f you know, fill the tank each time and then drive back to the greenhouse like we were doing before. Okay, so let me get all these filled with water, and then the next thing we'll have to do is get the fertilizer and the seed going. All right, all the greenhouses should have full water here. Uh, so let's just double check. 20,000 liters there, 20,000, 20,000. Yep, okay, very good. Yeah, so uh, that works out pretty good, man. I can fill these 10 greenhouses 
in about the same time as it took me to fill the three hydroponic greenhouses before where I had to keep me you know making multiple trips so can't complain about that okay now next thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and park our trailer back in its usual position for now and then we're gonna grab our our trailer there our little trailer that we purchased um, and that's what we're gonna use to do this uh, the seed and the fertilizer okay come on Get this thing point in the right direction here straighten up there we go and then that's good um actually you know what I think I'm just gonna Uh, keep that connected for now. Okay, so let's jump in the telehandler. Okay. Now, can I lock this? Yeah, block trailer. Okay. So that locks the dolly so it stays straight and makes this function more or less like a, a trailer that does not have a dolly. And we just back up to here and then start filling with fertilizer. Isn't that slick, man? No more messing with uh, individual bags of fertilizer. And we can use this, you know, for our fertilizer contracts, too. And then I just order more, you know, when, uh, when we run out or start running low. Now, eventually, you know, the plan is for us to get cattle. And we'll be able to, to then use the manure uh, to fertilize the greenhouses. But, you know, that's still not, that's still in a later phase. So right now we have to still use, you know, normal fertilizer here. Very good. Okay. That's a heavy load for our telehandler. <laughs> I can barely make it up the, the hill here. Uh, our tractor would probably work a little bit better, but that's fine. So yeah, I mean, I've got the I've got the larger trailer that we've had all along. Well, not all along, but for a while. But it, you know, that would make that'd be more difficult to maneuver in and in and out of these greenhouses. So that's why I picked up this shorter trailer for this purpose. Oh my goodness! Come on, dude. Yeah, I should probably use the track. <laughs> I should probably use the new Holland for this. This is a bit much for our telehandler. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get it straightened out at least. Come on, buddy. You can do it. What we're going to do is get right here. And then we just basically dump the fertilizer. Right next to the fertilizer bags. And it'll automatically fill up the greenhouse. Very cool. All right. You know what, though? This... This is painfully slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the new Holland on this instead. Our telehandler is awesome, but it doesn't quite have enough horsepower for pulling that thing. Uh, but we should be able to do this with the new Holland, no issue. I'm going to need to, you know, get some more sheds going here at some point for storage, but... One thing at a time, right? But this is a major upgrade for us, you know, especially if, you know, now that we have the cold storage and we we don't sell until the price is at its best, we're going to make some serious cash. Now, I'm going to keep, you know, working contracts and my own hay for this year. Uh, well, 
maybe. <laughs> I'll probably still do the hay contracts because they're so lucrative in the fertilizer, but I might not do all the, you know, some of the other ones. It just depends upon how our time goes. I guess I have to back up a little more here. We'll see how, how it goes. But as time goes on, you know, we're going to get busier and busier just tending our own farm. And we're not going to have a whole lot of time to, you know, be doing contracts and stuff like that. So, there we go. Okay, so let's get all of these greenhouses fertilized up and then we'll do seed next. Okay, that takes care of the fertilizer. We have a little bit left over, so we can just dump this back in the uh, container here. Part of the problem the telehandler was having, in, having, now that I think about it, was that it was... Um, uh, I still had that dolly locked, so that was giving it some trouble. But still, the New Holland's uh, much better off at... Uh, Towing this thing. Okay, so I'm hoping we have enough seed for this. Um, we'll see. We'll seed. Okay, let's get it straight and then we'll lock the dolly. Back up to this guy. And fill it up. Suck silos content. Yeah, seed. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough seed to get all of these started. So we're going to hold off on the strawberries and tomatoes and get the lettuce going first because we might have to... Uh, we might have to sell some lettuce even when the price... Well, actually, let's look at the prices just to get some money going, but we can get money going during the contracts. Let's see. Lettuce. So we're in, what are we at? We're in January. So yeah, actually selling lettuce at the end of January and even in February is going to give us some money. So we might end up doing that. Uh, we'll see how, we'll just see how things go. And yeah, I know in real life, um, you know, lettuce is not going to keep even in cold storage for, you know, more than a couple weeks or whatever. But we can't we can't completely apply real life to to the game here either. Got to you got to balance those those things. So we're just gonna you know we went to all this effort to get the cold storage, and so we're let's just say that our lettuce is like a a super GMO strain and it lasts for a long time or something. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we're, there's no way we're going to have enough seed. I guess I could take a temporary loan out. That may... I don't like the idea of doing that, but if we want to get these things going at full production, we might need to. Yeah, because... Uh, I think that's all we got for seed. And that didn't quite fill that one up all the way. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought all of that fertilizer, dang it. I thought I would have enough money, but... Is there any more in here? I don't think so, because... We already filled the trailer with what we had. Yeah, it's not even giving me the option to fill it. Okay. Well, all right. I got to figure out then what to do here. Um, how much is... We almost filled those four up with 10,000 liters. So it would cost us 27,000 to completely fill up the silo. Yeah, you know, I hate to go into debt, you guys. I really do. But 
This is kind of one of those situations where it kind of makes sense for us to do that. And you know we'll be able to, we'll be able to pay twenty seven thousand dollars off really easily in uh, April, which will be the first you know hay contract month. I might need to do a little more smoothing through here too. Uh, or you know these guys might be able to easily pay for it just you know just if I can get them all into full production. So I think I'm going to do that. I think we're going to take out a loan. We'll have to take it one out for thirty seven thousand dollars. Uh, not thirty-seven thousand dollars. We'll just take one out for thirty thousand because this is going to cost twenty-seven thousand. Um, you know, to get a full silo of seed, and then we'll have some left over. So yeah, all right. So yeah, I know this kind of sucks, but it's temporary. It's temporary, and it's just like I said, it's one of those situations where it makes sense to do this. <sighs> Yeah, okay. Now we should be able to completely fill this up with seed, and we'll be able to get all of the greenhouses going into full production. And here again, I'll be able to pay that off no later than uh, April, if not sooner. All right, fill it up. Look at all that seed, man. Okay. Now we should uh, be able to get everything. Oh, don't tip over. That would not be good. Uh, everything filled up, uh, including the tomatoes and the strawberries, and get the production going at full capacity here. Yeah, I think that was a good move. Kind of sucks to go into debt, but it's not a big deal. We'll be able to pay it off quickly. Sometimes it makes sense to take a loan out, you know. A lot of times it doesn't, but sometimes it does, and this is one of those times. I love these new greenhouses though. It, it's just it's just so much more realistic, you know, because I mean, the base game greenhouses, all you have to do is put water in them. That's it. <laughs> I mean, where do the seeds come from? Where does the fertilizer come from? And even the hydroponics ones, you know, were a little more realistic, but still this is like this is the way it should be, right? We're having to put a very a pretty significant investment into these greenhouses but we're gonna uh, it's gonna pay off though wait till you guys see how much these suckers produce it's, it's crazy and you know how the hydroponics greenhouses would you know um, spit out one row of pallets well these guys do two rows side by side so they're just really cool So I'll have to decide, well, you know, it actually does make sense for us to sell at the end of January and also, yeah, we um, we might sell in February too, but definitely sell at the end of January because obviously this is the best time to sell. For tomatoes, yeah, same thing for tomatoes, strawberries, a little bit different, but still close enough. So we probably won't start storing our produce until March. And then we'll just store it until, you know, the, the next, and well, until January, assuming that's the when the price is highest again. Now, there's one other thing that you guys need to know, and that's this. It's going to take an enormous amount of work uh you know wait till you see how much these things produce okay it can take an enormous amount of work for me to move that product so i've i've come up with a bit of a compromise um and that compromise is this we are going to hire a part-time worker 
This is all role, you know, role playing imaginary. It's not actually going to happen for real because there's no way I can do that for real. But we're going to hire a part time worker. That part time worker is. Uh, I will introduce that worker to you later in an, in, a, in an upcoming episode. So I'm not going to say much more about the worker other than that that worker is going to work for us for 15 bucks an hour for 20 hours a week. Okay. Um, yeah, let's fill up the seeds here. Okay, and I'm going to actually deduct. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to remove uh, $1,200 a month from my money. I'm going to do that manually to simulate paying this worker. So I'm going to pay for it. But what's going to happen is I have a, another mod and what this mod does is it auto loads the pallets onto this trailer that I bought here. So all I have to do is pull up to the greenhouse, hit a button and it automatically loads the pallets onto the trailer. Okay? And and what I'm doing is I'm simulating my worker who I'm paying actual money to every month doing that work for me so that I don't have to. Because otherwise, it's just going to take me forever to do that. So the MO here is going to be I'm going to pull the big trailer up next to the greenhouses. We're going to use the auto load mod. Um, are we good? We're going to use the auto load mod. And then I'm going to dump the pallets off in front of the cold storage, and then I'll use the telehandler to move them inside of the cold storage. We'll store them until it's time to sell. I'll pull them back out with the telehandler and then, again, use the auto load mod to get them on the trailer. And, again, I'm simulating my part-time worker, um, you know, doing that work for me. And, and so I'm still doing some of the work with the telehandler by moving it into the cold storage and back out, but I'm not doing all of the work. Uh, and that, you know, that's the compromise that I came up with and I'm paying for it. I'm paying 1200 bucks a month for that worker, you know, to do that. Okay. So that's the way that that's going to go down, but I'm just giving you a heads up. So, you know, uh, what the deal is. Okay. What are we doing? We're looking at our, each one of our greenhouses. So we're just making sure each one has full water seeds and fertilizer. And it looks like they do. Fantastic. Okay, nice. So yeah, here's the plan. Then um, at the end of January, so in two days from now, end game days, uh, we will sell whatever the greenhouses have produced. And we will probably also sell all of it in February too. And one other thing I want to show you too, check this out. When we go to here and we, we click on, uh, like say, our, our lettuce, uh, or even our eggs for that matter. Um, Mama Joe's Market is now one of the uh, sell points uh, because because it's a farmer's market. It basically will buy all the same stuff that Johnson's Farmer's Market will. And so, you know, Mama Joe's prices at times will probably be the best price. And then when that happens, we, you know, we're pretty much just selling right next door, which is going to be really cool. Uh, so... You know, the thing that I kind of disagree with about this game... Oh, man, we got a big stutter there. I kind of disagree with about the game is that... what What's happening to my sound? Okay, something's forking out here. I completely lost my game sound. Uh, okay, well... All right, guys, I'm back. Um, the whole the whole entire game crashed. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's the very first time since I've uh, started playing Farming Simulator that the game actually crashed on me. So that's actually pretty good, though. Uh, we also went back in time a little bit, so uh, we are back to. Let's see. Do we have? I think we don't have the seed again. Yeah, okay, so we, we, we have to redo the loan. Yeah, we have to redo the loan. Okay, so let's see. We borrowed 30000 There we go. Okay. Anyway, all right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill up the greenhouses uh, off camera. I'm going to let you guys go. But what I was saying right before we crashed is that 
you know, the game makes you purchase for significant money additional sell points, which is fine except for that I don't get any profit for it, you know? All I, I'm buying a building that somebody else, you know, a computer uh, computer person, farmer, whatever, is going to make money off of. And I don't own the building, but I had to buy, buy the thing just for, you know, it gives me a sell point, but it's like, what the heck, man? So Mama Joe's Farmer's Market was like 55000 bucks. And, you know, that's partly why I kind of role-played it to have her buying it, because it just kind of made more sense anyway. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I have a problem with that, to be honest with you. It's, you know, it's different with production facilities, because when I buy a production facility, it's mine, and I get the profits from it, you know, when it makes product. But for the sell points, I still have to shell out tens of thousands of dollars, only so I have one more place I can sell something to, and I don't get any profit. So that's why I was saying I kind of don't fully agree with how, you know, the Giants have set that, that up. And in this case here, once again, uh, here, let's take off the locked dolly. Um, that's why I had, you know, role played it to where Mama Joe bought it instead. All right. Anyways, guys, um, we've already been through this, so I'm going <laughs> to go through and do it all again. But I'm going to let you guys go here. I will bring you back on January the 3rd uh, when we have a whole bunch of pallets to sell. And we'll load those up and sell them and see if we make enough money to pay this loan off and then go from there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya!